Hello, this is Philips from Platzdarms Design Company and this quick tip I'm going to show you how to arrange and make your project in order before you deliver it to any third party. Uh, like this, uh, this is uh, one of my recent projects I've been working on for uh, Video Hive Marketplace and uh, usually when I work on a project I import uh, 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 project files to, to use some elements from those and once I've finished working on this, I need to remove the unused um, unused uh, media or layers or folders. Uh, one thing how you can do that, you can uh, click on uh, each uh, comp or each layer and see how many times it's been used. If this says one time, so it's used one time. If this says nothing, uh, this means this layer is not used, so you know you can delete it. You can do like this and go through your project and uh, remove the unused uh, unused uh, media. But if your project is uh, big and bulky like this one, it's really it will really take a lot of time to do that. And there is an either easier uh, way to do it. Um, go to your final comp and select it. So this is the comp, which uh, where everything else is uh, is uh, imported in it, and arranged and animated. Like this is my final comp. So I click on it and then go to file, uh, file and reduce project. What this does, it removes every every single piece that is not used by this. Uh, by this composition. This time there are 70 items that are not used directly with this uh, in this composition but that are imported in the project file and of course they are not needed anymore because I've uh, used the ones that I need to use. So just click OK and you've uh, you've removed some of those unused uh, media. Still you need to arrange your existing media and usually what I do once I uh, reduce my project uh, so that there are only things that I'm actually using I also uh, save it again file save as and we'll call it tutorial and then what I do, I collect files because sometimes you import uh, you import assets from different locations, and uh, if you just pack your file like this and uh, you don't pay attention to your assets, the the other party that is trying to open up your project, uh, they will get uh, missing file errors and they will not be able to use your project. So another way to click on file and. Um, <laughs> collect files. This will open up uh, collect files dialog and you just click on collect. Specify the new new location and you actually don't need even to create a new folder. You just uh, specify this name. Uh, collected files. I click save. I will copy files uh, copy all assets and move your project file to the new location and open up it from the new location. And once you open it up uh, in your finder, I'll try to quickly show you. So Finish triangles color uh, collected files. It creates a project file, a nice footage folder with all assets in it, and uh, and it generates report. The report is useful to see to see what's in your project. It will says uh, what comps you have, and most uh, importantly, it will show what effects you used. For example, if you're uh, preparing your project file for uh, for selling on Marketplace, um, 
you want to look out for any third party uh, plugins or CC plugins that might not be uh, present in demo version of After Effects. So go through this list and check if you really use all those plugins. If not, uh, go into the uh, project and remove, uh, remove the instances that use those plugins. And there's also a way you can generate the report only without collecting files. And you do that by clicking File, Collect Files, and instead of uh, clicking Collect, you mark the Generate Report Only, and then click Save, and it will ask uh, for, to, for you to specify the directory where to save this uh, report, and we'll save the report uh, just, like, uh, just like this one. So you can so you can go through it and uh, and check your used effects. Sometimes, um, even if you use the third-party effects and replaced it by uh, by pre-render, uh, sometimes users forgot to um, to remove the the instance that used the actual plugin, and uh, that gives missing plugin error for those who don't have those third-party plugins. So for the user, again, you can't see the error because you have the plugin, but you can generate this report. And in the report, you can see if uh, some of those third-party plugins are still used within your project. Then you can go into the project, remove those uh, instances, generate report again, see if you still have the plugin, then go through your project again and, and find the, the place that uses those plugins. Um, and another thing which I like to do instead of having footage folder and then uh, several subfolders, I like to move my assets uh, to the to the footage folder and remove those. But when you do that, be careful because uh, your uh, the project file can can uh, miss the file link, miss the link with this file. So what you can do, open up your project file. Uh, go and search for the Envato logo uh, asset, right click on it and you can either uh, take reveal in finder or reveal in uh, um, <laughs> explorer probably, uh, how it's called in Windows and that way you can see either it's uh, linking to the asset that you think or linking to some asset which is located somewhere else on your computer which works for you fine, but that will give missing file error for uh, any other user that tries to open up this project on his computer. And uh, what you can do to make sure the asset is, uh, this, uh, the After Effects is linking to the, uh, the correct asset, just right click on it, uh, click on uh, replace footage by file, and Go and go and look for call it files for for your asset and specify your uh, your asset, which is located in correct place uh, near to the actual project file. That way you can make sure that uh, there are no uh, missing file errors present.